Okay, so now that we've learned about what a tree is and in the, in the uh, terminology and the parts of it, uh, let's look at how we would implement it. So we're going to cover two different kinds of implementation here. The first one will be using list inside of Python, and the second one will be using a linked structure approach like we did our linked list and doubly linked list. So uh, representing a list, what we're going to have is at the root, we're going to have a list that has only three elements, a key, a left subtree, and a right subtree. And we're going to use the recursion definition of a, of a tree to do this. Uh, so if we have a left subtree, that's going to represent the child as a root and everything under it. So that'll be a nested list inside this uh, part. And the uh, third element will be the right subtree. Uh, so each tree or subtree, T, consists of a list with three elements. T of 0 will hold the node. T of 1 holds the left subtree. Or it holds an empty list if there is no children. And T of 2 will hold the right subtree or an empty list if there is no children. So when we say it holds the left subtree, it's going to in turn hold a list with three elements. In. Now let's just point out you should remember that 0 is always the key. 1 is left, 2 is right. And this, If you remember that, it's going to be easier to follow the discussions that follow and the code. So here's an example of a list. Um, you could write it out this way, but it's difficult looking at this to figure out what is the, uh, the top of the list and each left and right and so on. So we're going to structure it by writing it out with indentation where each indentation will represent a different level of the, of the tree. So at the top level we have the root, and the root is A, and this is the first element is the key, and here's the uh, closing uh, square bracket for that list, and it has three elements. It has the key, it has a left sublist that goes from here to here, and those are all at this level, and then it has a right sublist which is written here. Now the left sublist, so that represents the subtree on the left side of child of A, so B is a child of A, and it in turn has two children, a left and a right, which is D and E, and these have no children indicated by the two empty list for uh, element one and element two, here and here. So that's the left side of the child B of A, and here's the right child of A, which is C, and it has no children. Uh, so we can collapse all this into this list, and you should be able to look at this and figure out, and the easiest way to figure out is to structure it back to this so you have all the things in three elements and you indent for each level. So here's the code. Uh, this is a little different from the book, so let me see what I'm showing, doing here. I've actually simplified some things. So uh, if you create a new list, uh, which the show right here, Okay, so the, this is a method. We're going to create some functions, and the functions you always pass um, uh, a parameters to, and most of them you pass the 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 sub you pass the root of the subtree that you want to work on. So you're not necessarily passing the root of the entire tree. But sometimes you have to pass the root of a subtree in order to say insert to the left or right. So to create a brand new tree with uh, no left or right, just the, the root, you specify the key and you call binary tree and it creates a uh, list here which has the root and no left or right subtree. So we start with this, that's going to return a value, so you save that. And once you have that, you can pass that value and call this and maybe add a, a new branch on the left. So what happens when you ask the, ask the new branch on the left, it uh, pops out element 1 which is the left subtree and it remembers it because it could be a whole subtree. And what it's going to do, if there's already a subtree there, it's going to move it down and put the new thing in it as the new child of, uh, of the root. So if the length of this thing indicates it's not empty, it's going to insert at the, uh, at the root in the left position a new subtree. So you see how this has this new subtree here? And the, and the left branch of the subtree is the, what was existed as the subtree that was under root before. So it basically moves that whole subtree down and inserts uh, this new branch key. 
if it didn't have a key, it inserts an empty subtree there. Now why you can simplify this, when uh, you're popping the first element and reinserting the first element, you don't need to do that, you just have to replace the first element with what you want. So that's one simplification. The other thing to realize is in inserting these, they're both the same except that in one case you're inserting the old subtree and in one case you're not, but if you think about it, if there was no subtree to the original root, you're going to have an empty list. So when it pops one here and you have an empty list, T is an empty list. So whether you check, uh, if you did just this, you would be inserting an empty list uh, if you didn't have the if, and if T was a sublist, you'd be inserting that. So you don't have to have a, a branch here. You can just execute this one statement to accomplish everything. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to go to my PyCharm code, and you'll see uh, we have a new binary tree I just made a little shorter. It's called bin tree. So that creates, uh, it just returns a, a root with no left or right children. Insert left gets the left node that's already there, and then it sets the left node of root. It's going to replace it with what it was with a new branch and T and an empty list. So you can see T. Uh, just gets moved down. It does equivalent thing to the right subtree when inserting right, and then it just has some gets and sets. So it has a thing to get the root value, which is the root key, uh, to set the root key, so you can change the key of any node that way, uh, to get the left child, so that just returns root of one, and to get the right child, so that returns root of two. Uh, so here's a little code to uh, insert, do some inserts left and right, get the child and print it out. Uh, this is the code that's in the book. All I've added is some asserts. So if you work on changing anything in here, the asserts are going to check that the list is correct at each point. If the list is all correct, they won't cause any errors. Uh, then we set the change the root value of the L, which is the left child. And we insert on L left, so that's going to insert a left node at L as a subtree. And then it's going to get the right child, and then it's going to get the right child of that, of the root, and get what that is and print it out. And so that subtree that's printing out, it also tests that. Uh, and then the last thing we're going to do, we're going to build a tree here. So this gives you an example of building a tree. Now this tree, there's one in the root, it has five in the left and two on the right, and then nine is a left of two. So what we do is we create a new tree. We insert to the left of the root five. So that's going to insert that. We're going to insert to the right of the root two, so that's going to insert to two. Now we can't say insert right the nine because it would end up over here. So in the case where you have to go, you have to change direction from right to left, what you have to do is get the subtree that is 2, so I get the right child of the root, so that's going to be the 2, and then I use the, that as the subtree root for an insert left, and I insert a 9, so that's going to insert the 9 to the left of the 2 as its parent. And uh, that's it. Uh, this I should get rid of. Okay, so let's go back cover one more thing. Uh, so that has a list of the functions we just went over. This uh, goes through, shows you just the insert left and some code that we talked about. Now the next thing is to implement as a linked structure. Uh, so we want to have a linked list. So, and there's a picture in the book of this. So let me go to there. Uh, it's a pretty good picture. So right at the top of the link structure, it says we want to create a tree that looks like this. So it's going to have nodes, and then, so each node will have three pieces of data. It's going to have a key, a left pointer, and a right pointer. And so each node will be the same. If uh, something's empty, the left and right will be set to none. And so that's basically how things are going to work. So here's the code for that. Uh, so first of all, 
when you create a new uh, binary tree, it, it sets it up as the stores the key and the left and right child and none. Insert left is similar to what we did with the function, but this time we have an object representing the sub node we want to insert on. So we can insert left of that object a new node. So we remember the left child. We created a brand new binary tree, set that in the left child, and then we set the left child of that new tree. So we get the left child we just set and get its left child and set it to the old left. So we're moving the left subtree down if we have to. If there was no subtree, it just ends up being none being copied here. Do the same thing with the right child. And here's those gets and sets uh, written as a class structure instead of as functions. So if we wanted to do this, uh, which I'm going to represent in a little ASCII art here, so you notice there's A has a left and a right, B and C, and then the B has a right, and the A going down to C has a, a, a E and an F, left and right. So if we want to build this, uh, we can create a tree that has A, and then we can insert F on the right, and then insert C on the right, and that'll insert, when we insert C, it moves F down and puts C here. So that takes care of the right side. And then we have to get the, uh, then we can insert left, insert B. But to insert B, uh, to insert D to the right of B, we have to get the subtree that has B at the top, and then say insert D to the right. And to insert E, we have to get the subtree with C at the top, insert E to the left. So here's a little ASCII art for that same diagram. So we start with a binary tree, we insert B on the left, and then we get the left child of the root, which will be B, and then we say insert D on the right of that. Then we insert F on the right of A, so F would go in this position. But then we insert right C, so it's going to push the F down and insert C here. And then finally it's going to get the right child of the root, so that's going to be C and then insert on the left of that the E, so that's going to put the E in there. And finally I have a special method that's not in the book uh, which will diagram out a tree as long as it's not more than three levels deep. Uh, so we're going to show you running that. So that's in this binary tree 2 and I'm going to give you this code. So you can see I wrote uh, three extra methods here. So let me see, actually four. So here is where the code uh, from the book leaves off. And what I did, first I added a print tree and this gives you a outline of the of the tree. And that'll work for any number of levels. You can try running that. And then there's some helper functions, one called depth, which gets the depth of the tree. And uh, then there's one called to array, which uh, converts the tree to an array for to help print it out. Uh, and then finally there's diagram and so th these three functions are all used together to make diagram work and diagram actually diagrams the tree so let's it creates a diagram that's kinda like this uh, so what I do is I do those steps to build the tree and finally I call diagram so let's look at that run and you can see uh, here let me open this up There's a little diagram. So it actually gives you a diagram in the tree. So if you work with the tree code here, which I think you are in one of the assignments, uh, calling this diagram is similar to uh, the when we dumped the link, Dublin link list to help you with that assignment. So we've added some code for you to help kind of see what's inside the tree uh, so you can see what's going on. Uh, so that's it on this uh, video.